everybody, and welcome back to Win, Lose or Draw. It's week four, but it's week three results. First, Ben, how do you think you did? Not very well. I don't think anybody did very well. There were a lot of results this weekend that um, I think people would have struggled to um, predict. It would have been a coupon-busting weekend. A weekend for the bookies, basically. Well, it was bad all around. Fancy Premier League was the same as well, wasn't it? But, um, obviously, I wouldn't buy two points in week one, two points in week two, so I'm on a plus four. But what's going to happen this week? Well, let's go through last uh, last week's results and see how we did. So I opened up with Chelsea um, winning against Luton. We both got that 1-1. Yep. One, one. Easy, easy, easy. Bournemouth Spurs was the half 12th game. I went with a draw. You went with a Spurs win. Ooh, so you're 2-1 up there. A good start. Yep, yep. yep. Um, Arsenal, we both obviously went with a win. Home win. Home win. Yeah, I'm going to go with a home win for that. Uh they drew against Fulham. He's got a Ramsdale for Rea now. Come on. You, no chance. He's made the mistake. That's the whole point. It's not really a mistake, is it? It's half a mistake. Sort of a mistake. Get him out. No chance. That's just because you that's just because you get on with him, Ram Rambo. <laughs> he is my mate. It's Ramsdale to me. Proper goalie though. Rea in. Goalie. Rea in. Um so we yeah, we we're still two one to you there. Brentford, um we both went with Brentford win. Um, in the Palace. in the Palace yeah. game, and uh, obviously it wasn't. It, it was, was a, draw. a draw. Good yeah. point for Palace. So it's still two one to you. United win. Both of us went for that. Yeah. Um, could could have got it wrong, but uh, so that's three two to you, just like it was in the United game. Three two there. Uh, Wolves against Everton. Um, we both got this wrong. You went with an Everton win. Bro, I can see a, a, a grinding one 0 Everton win. Yeah. I went with the Wolves. Draw, well, a draw. A draw, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with a draw on that one. Okay. Obviously, it was a Wolves win. Wolves win? No, that's a bad result for Everton, though. Yeah, so it's still... Really bad result. Still 3-2 for you. Would you get rid of Deitch? Uh, still, no. No, 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 no. I'd still give him... I'd give him... No, no, I wouldn't get rid of him. I, I just... I've said this so many times. I just think that when Fulham and Bournemouth are playing good football, yeah. there's no excuse anymore in the modern game to just have a coach that grinds you out and keeps you up. Yeah, I, but Everton are really... I don't know, they have. They've got a few ballers, to be fair, but they haven't really got ta- I that many. Yet, but, yeah. but I don't think they've got the ability to be able to play a lot of good football. No, no, he probably suits what they've got, doesn't it? So still 3-2 to you on that one. Uh, we move on to Brighton at home to West Ham. Wow. Neither of us predicted that. Coupon buster. Absolutely fantastic result for West Ham. Although it's happened before. Everton did it at the end of last season. Brighton, every were, now Brighton and again. were lovely as well, honestly. They, they popped the life out of it. Just no real cutting edge, was there? So still 3-2 to you. Um... Uh, this is where it gets interesting. We go on to Sunday. Aston Villa at Burnley. Yeah. You went with the draw. I went with a Villa win. It's 3 3. Damn. 3 3. Such a sloppy mistake. For that me. is a mistake, I know. Yeah, it is. The Villa, very, very Villa, good again. Very good. They've ba- they bounced back, haven't they, after, yeah, after that opening yeah. Newcastle yeah. game? I think they've learned a lot from that game. It's probably a good thing for them. Um, City against Sheffield United. Surprise, surprise. We yeah. both got that one. So 4 4. We both went with a win with that. And then uh, the Newcastle game against Liverpool. Um, you went with a home win yeah. of Newcastle. I'm surprised. I thought I would have gone with that, but I actually went with a draw. Oh, so, so uh, that, le- that last minute Nunes goal has saved me from yet another defeat. Well, I didn't even realise. So no. I-, I was sat there oblivious going, oh my God, Nunes, well done. He's, he's won it 2-1. <laughs> Put a cat amongst the pigeons and call it Nunes. What a game of football for everybody. If I'd realised that that, I'd have gone, you're a bloody prick, Nunez. You're a prat. You're a prat. Why don't you miss like you always do? So, actually, we've ended up uh, with a draw for all, okay. which means yeah. it will be a rollover week. Um, so, for the next week. So, yeah, we've got a t- I think I've got a tenner oh, that I had last I week. I've got a tenner on me. Well, we can, have the, we can have the tenner for last week, but oh, no, the ten- just roll it over. We tenner goes that. into the table. Yeah. Yeah. We know so that it's 20 quid um, next week. Oh, it's a big nip week next week then. So, well, how did you do? We, you, did you beat us for, with a four? And if you d- didn't play, play again. But uh, I'm still plus four for Overall, the whole season. Yeah. Goal difference. But as for the weekly tenner, that's going to roll into next week. So we drew four all there, yep. which which leads le- nicely into a big week before the international break. There's a rollover up for grabs here. How is there an international break this early, by the way? It's pathetic, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? We're, we're four games into the season, an international break. Nobody wants it. Just play Premier League all the way through. I absolutely despise it. Oh. You know, It's like the wife when she says the grandparents are coming round for dinner on Sunday. I'm like, God... Why? Yeah, Is yeah, that come yeah. round again already? That's... It was the Christmas before last, yeah. Maria last. Um, so, yeah, look, it's even worse when you think about the team that Southgate's going to pick. He's probably going to pick... Har- just on that, Is actually, he going to pick Harry Maguire? Calvin Phillips, 
No. If he gets picked no. out of Ward Prowse, that's a disgrace. And Harry Maguire's not played a minute of Premier League football. He can't get picked this He time. will. He'll be he playing. Harry, come on. You're, you're staying in my room. <laughs> we'll play Mario point. Kart. <laughs> I've been practising the drift. <laughs> Um, so, uh, look, drift, that's Mario Kart. That doesn't mean anything What's about What's the powerful drift? one? Is it the orange one that's the big, the, uh, the big boost? Yeah, you hold it. The purple? Yeah, purple if you do it for longer than that. Really? Oh. So it's blue, orange, and then purple. Yeah. Did you yeah, know, did you know, when, when you do a jump, you can power jump as well? Yeah. There's a, there's <laughs> a real, it's there's like, it's not... We really need to do it. a Mario Kart... Eight. I mean, this is a video in itself. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Football filling, yeah, a Mario right. Kart race. This is Tell it. me when it is and I'll practice and I'll be better on an audio, I promise you. Okay. Back in the day, I used to play it on the, uh, the SNES. I used to play it on the N64. I would bat you all I'm, I'm here for this. Switch. I'm such a good loser. The DS. Um, Brighton, sorry, Luton, West Ham. We've got another Friday night game. Yep. If you're watching this, you're sad. If you're staying in to watch Luton against West Ham, you're either Luton fan, West Ham. What if I sad. go to the pub and watch it? Is that okay? No, that's fine, yeah. Okay, I'm going to, can I start? Yep. West Ham win. Yes, I fucking hell. I ain't giving. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to predict Luton and get a point all season. So oh. yeah, West Ham win. Um, Saturday lunchtime. Onto another. T this is interesting, actually. This could be. Okay. This is one to where you can get points. Sheffield United at home to Everton, half past twelve on Saturday. This is me first. Oh, well, I'd like to go second on this one. I'm going to go with. Um, oh, I, I can't. I'm going to. I'm going to go Everton win. Oh, I don't. I was going to say that. I, but but say every that. part of me is saying this could easily be a draw or it could be a Sheffield United. I mean, just Everton just have to score to win. But they haven't scored in three games. I, I don't know. I'm going to go Everton win. It could the, be the, honestly, I bet you the odds on this game would be basically the same all across the board. It would be the same for yeah, a draw, same yeah. for a home win, same for an away win. So... I think I'm going to go draw, you know. Mm. I do. I think I'm going to go draw. I think I've seen enough from Sheffield United in that game against Man City that they've got a bit of steel and determination about them, at least. So, draw. <sighs> could be in trouble there, I could. Big um, game, though. Big game. A few three o'clock games. Brentford against Bournemouth. Uh, Brentford were at home at the weekend and drew to Palace, Palace, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did, yeah. Which is a bit of a surprise. Actually, really. there's a bit of a weird thing going on because when we come to Villa... It's game four, but it's three away games and one home game. So yeah. it's some weird. I think Brentford have, have had three home games now. So. I'm going to go Brentford home win. Yeah. Um, uh, Bournemouth are decent, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with a Brentford win as well okay. on that one. I, I okay. quite like Brentford. Uh, Burnley against Spurs at three o'clock. It's yours. Me. Um, I've gone against Spurs every bloody game, and Spurs fans have been going, please go against us again. So I'm going to go... I, I actually think Spurs are looking really good at the moment. Yeah. I'm going to go Spurs win. Obviously, me too. If yeah. I was hoping you were going to say a draw there, but yeah. no, I'll go Mate, Spurs I'll, all the way. Well, that's what I did with Bournemouth last week again. and um, Again, for Spurs, that's I think that's three away games. And yeah, four. I think it so is, yeah. it's a good start for them. Good, Very, very good, start good start for Spurs. Start. Uh, Chelsea at home to Nottingham Forest. Chelsea home went... Yeah, um, I would go with that, unfortunately. Not a lot of differentials, is there? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm putting um, Raheem Sterling in my fancy team. because it's he been is, brilliant. No, he's, he's playing a different role now. He's playing a different position. He's, he's, he's a serious attacking midfielder now, whereas before he was a bit of a meh and try and do stuff he can't do. But now he knows. It, like Basically, you get the ball, Raheem, you run at that goal and you get shots off. I, thought, I know they lost against West Ham. I thought he was absolutely very brilliant. Good. Apparently, very he was very good, good against Luton as well. Um, Man City, Fulham. Yours, isn't it? Man City. Man City. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of straightforward ones. Although yeah. this one isn't. Ooh. Half past five, Brighton against Newcastle at Brighton. Both teams off very disappointing results. Um, yeah, I, I know where I'm going to go with that, but it's you. Oh, gosh, this is a really tough one. Both teams have got to bounce back, haven't they? Both teams have got to bounce back, but... In fact, if you lose that game, if you're either of them... It's not a good start to the season. It's not, is it? And they've both got Europe after the international break. So. Well, no, no, no. Listen, Brighton have had it. It's not a bad start for Brighton. Brighton have won their first two games and then unbelievably lost against West Ham where they absolutely popped them off the park. West Ham, in fairness to them, were absolutely ruthless in front of the goal, so fair play to them. Um, oh, this is really tough. Brighton, Newcastle. Brighton at home. I like them both. It's got a draw written all over it, but I'm edging towards a Brighton win as well. I'm going to go a draw. Good, because I'm going to go for a Brighton win. Are you? Yeah, yeah. I just think that, yeah, I, I, I just think Brighton. Yeah, I'm they, they, with you. But I they know. both need yeah. to bounce back, and I'd expect yeah. Brighton to have some teeth against Newcastle. Brighton will have more possession, they'll have more passes, they'll have more 
that they, they will be the dominant team, guaranteed. Well, that's it, isn't it? New, Newcastle cannot go to Brighton and bounce back by no. going for it. They're no. going to have to go defensive, which plays into Brighton's hands. Yeah, OK. Uh, on the break. So you're going Brighton, I'm going to go draw, OK? Cool. Uh, into the Sunday, Crystal Palace against Wolves. Uh, God, that's a yeah. tough one. Um, should me. Um... I, li I like Wolves. I wish I'd predicted they would have beat Everton. Um, I predicted a draw. They still struggle to score goals. And I think Palace at home are decent. So I'm going to go with a Palace win. Me too. Yeah, Palace win. Me too. Uh, Liverpool Villa. This is a cracker. This, this is, is a cracker. cracker. Uh, yeah, Liverpool against Villa. Villa, if they win this, they're on nine points. Yeah. If Liverpool win this, they are on ten points. Three wins and a draw. Yeah. My well, Liverpool, Liverpool for now. I mean, have you seen enough of Liverpool to say that they are going to be no. fighting for second with Arsenal, or do no. you still think they are? It could be anything. It, it could be anything. It genuinely could be anything. Um, and I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Think how far away Liverpool are from that front three of Salah, Firmino, and Mane. Think of how far mm. they are away now. When, and don't get me wrong, Jota and Diaz are good players, but when you get Chuck Gakpo and, D and Nunes in there as well, they're just it's just nowhere near it, is it? But then at the weekend, Nunes goes and does two unbelievable finishes. So, God, my heart, my, my head says Liverpool home win because mm. they're at home and it's Aston Villa. But I, oh, this is a really tough one. Why does it have to be me first? I'm going to go for a Liverpool home win. Again, different. I'm going to go with a draw on that yeah, one. I, I, don't I think you. it's. I, don't blame you. Uh, I fancy Villa again. It's their third away home game, yeah. away game of the season. I, what I will say is, if Liverpool win that, I think I think that will be massive for yeah. them. And I think they've had a tough start to the season, and I think they'll just build in confidence away from that. Uh, game of the week: Arsenal, Manchester United at the Emirates. I'm first on this one, and. Um, as I don't always go with the United win. I mean, I'd, I'd love it. I'd bloody love it if we beat them. But I'm actually going to go with a draw on that one. I don't think either team can afford to lose that. Obviously, Arsenal will be favourites. But I, I, I just see a draw and both teams live to fight another day. Because whoever loses that, United would be on six from 12. And Arsenal would not... Arsenal would be, if they lost, they would be on seven from 12. Yeah. It's not a good start for either team if they lose. So I just think a draw breaks it. This this one isn't far off that. You know that the Everton and Sheffield United one where mm. I said it could be a draw, it could be a win, it could be a... And I think that could be the same with this game here. I just don't know what to expect from both of these teams. I really don't. So oh, this is just pot luck, this one is. I think there's a lot of pot luck ones this weekend, mm. which the, the winner of it between me and you... Will we won't be draw. The one that gets a bit luckier. Yeah, we won't um, draw. Oh. You've got a draw. Um, all right, well, I'm going to go home win then. Yeah. I'm going to go Arsenal home win. And again, I'll just... That, that's, I think it's 33%, 33%, 33%, 33%. It could be anything it could, honestly. Get your predictions in below because this week is probably the toughest one of the lot. We've, we've got a rollover going on. There's 20 quid up for grabs here. You could win your money back. Oh. Um, make sure you're playing against us. I don't know which way this is going to go, especially oh. the Sunday. Once it hits half five... On Friday, on Saturday, all the, those those final four games and the Sheffield United Everton game, there's five absolute killers in there. What we have got at least in this week's um, predictions is enough differences between the two of us mm. that we won't draw. What, one, well, it could be I or like it could be it could be an, an absolute annihilation by one person. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I could get those four points back by the end of by the end of Sunday night. I could be on level terms with you. You know, taking twenty quid off you and I'm back to level aggregate scores. Yeah, it's uh, well, it could be the other way around. Sunday, Sunday is the third of September. It's not. It's not December the twenty fifth. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Smash the like. Get your comments in below, and we'll speak to you on the next one.